Howdy folks, welcome to episode 5. Today we're going to continue on our flying around and having fun here and stuff. And so I wanted to show you here real quick. I did get a Thrustmaster joystick. It's um, the HOTAS X, the whatever, H-O-T-A-S. X, the hands-on throttle and stick. So it's got the throttle and it's got buttons on the throttle and all that fancy stuff. So yeah, I've been wanting to get one for Imperion and I figured this would be a good time to do that because yeah. And so I played around with it a little bit and it does look like it's um, it's not gonna be like super easy. I still need to get used to the throttle and all that stuff. But we're gonna go out to this trawler because we're gonna make a run for these batteries. I was looking at the map and that's where we're gonna go. So I will yap while we're talking. There we go. All right, and so the nice thing about this is this also has yaw on the stick, so you can you can um, turn the stick, and I think on the keyboard you can actually do that with the. Let's see if we can go to airplane mode. There we go. With the stick, you can do that with our with the keyboard. I mean, you can do that with um, Q and E. Come on, come on. There we go. Let's see if we can get past that. There we go. But yeah, you can do that with Q and E with the. Come on. There we go. Wow, did I really? Did I really turn that much? There we go. Okay. So, yeah, this is still very... And I need to stop climbing because we're going to hit that thing there. There we go. Okay. There we are. <laughs> need to, to level off. Okay, stop going up and down so much. There we go, slow down. Like that. There we go. Alright, I need to level off. And I need to make this thing turn. There we go. So we can actually get there. Come on. But yeah, it's got a, it's got a th uh, yaw on it. And so you can do that with the keyboard with Q and E, I think. I didn't. I, the funny thing is, I didn't actually even try it when I was playing with the keyboard. It, it didn't even occur to me for some reason. Um, but yeah, so there's that, and let's see if we can maybe not use so much gas here. But yeah, I want to try to get up some money here, save up some money, and um, see if we can get to the uh, the next ship within a few episodes here. I don't think it's going to be like immediately or anything, but we should be able to do pretty well. I think if we can make like 25,000 at a at a crack. Let's see. So this thing is going to slow down as we get closer. I'm not sure. I, I need to figure out at what point I, to hit airplane mode. Is it a storm or something? Six kilometers. I think it's at about five kilometers that I'm going to want to start. Yeah. I don't want to completely come to a stop. Yeah, there's our, there's our thing. Okay, so I want to. We're gonna turn the throttle completely off because we do need to. Wow, there's another ship over there too. Cool. And we do need to drop quite a bit more. I can't even see where I'm at here. There we go. So we're gonna go over this way. Let's see which way does this thing want even want me to land? Is it this way? I think it's this way. Looks like it's going to be this way. So we're going to come over this way. What is that thing over there? It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. This little whatever it is. Is it a ship on the water? I think that's actually a ship that's floating on the water. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we need to basically get closer here. Now, the one thing I don't want to... <laughs> it's really going close. I don't want to um, be doing too much lateral adjustment while I'm... While I'm... Uh, there we go. There we go trying to avoid doing lateral adjustment while I'm in the air, while I'm close to the ground, because that's when you, there we go, because that's when you end up 
with problems um, <laughs> because it it redirects your thrust from downward and all of a sudden you start falling a lot more quickly. Okay, so now we can go like this and we can grab this. Is it like that? There we go. Okay, so we can grab that and while that's loading up, we can do this too. And I don't remember if the, it said there was a passenger here. I don't see one, so that must be that must be there must not be a passenger on this ship okay and so what we want to do is we want to go back to that's kind of cool I like that I like that little ship ship whoops I don't want fixed thrust I like that little ship over there so we're gonna go to the map I don't remember seeing that thing and see now it's that's kind of cool it actually shows who's willing to pay for it I don't remember that being like that before. That's pretty cool. So it shows your cargo and who wants it. Does anybody else want it? They want it for 43000 They want it for 24000 Huh. Interesting. Okay. We could come all the way down to here. How far is that? It is 119. So I think what we're going to end up doing, though, is if we fly all the way that far... Yeah, see, I don't think we're going to make it all the way. And so we're going to have to do something like this probably something like this in order to and what do they have for sale they have tritium praseodymium yeah you know what they don't have anything for sale that I want so if we come to here they still have the B2 rations no where was it they still have no do they not, do they, okay, so apparently you use stuff up when you, huh, okay, here it is, I was looking at the wrong thing, I was thinking that, that they stopped selling it once you, once you sold it to them, okay, we're going to get that, and is there anything we can buy at this and bring back to here, because what do they want here, they just want G-type batteries, okay, yeah, we're not going to get, we're not going to get those, okay, all right, we're just going to go back, to this place and sell it and probably do a couple of loops like that so let's take off here there we go and we can do this spin around with the yaw I like that that's way easier than trying to turn the other way and also the nice thing is you can actually do that while you can do that while you're flying in airplane mode because you couldn't do that before in airplane mode is it is the thing down? There we go. Much better. Okay. There we go. So we want to go upward. So what happens is I think when you go up higher, you can go faster. When you increase your altitude, is it am I getting just a crosswind or something? I don't know if I'm getting a crosswind. Can you show me any? doesn't show me anything okay but yeah when you go up higher I think you can go faster so you can go higher speed I don't know if each altitude has its own limit if it's you know the higher you go the faster you can go or if there's like just like it once you're over this threshold suddenly you can go this net this super speed or something but uh, that's cool there's the other landing spot there but yeah we're gonna come up here and we're gonna cruise at our cruising altitude here. And then I think when we hit about, what, 15, maybe 10 kilometers, we can turn off the throttle. There we go. There. We can level out the throttle. And then once we get to about, yeah, about there, we can start dropping this down. There we go. And basically using just our momentum. Wow, did we already hit? Are we really? Wow. I'm <laughs> just totally spinning all over the place. Let's do this. Come on. I don't want to completely drop. 
see where our thing even is. There we go. There's our landing spot right over here. So we're going to go over to the landing zone here. That's about right. Probably want to slow down on the downward a little bit. There we go. I'm not sure what that 21 is. If that's, It can't be meters per second because we're not dropping at meters per second. We're not dropping 21 meters every second. So I'm not sure what that number is supposed to be. Slow down a little bit. There we go. And this is what happens to me every time <laughs> I get over the thing and then I try to land real gently. There we go. Oops. I try to land real gently. And it, uh, I land, I end up taking back off, like, you know, bouncing off, you know, before I even hit the ground. There we go. Okay. So we've got that. We can sell these for 24000 Nice. And is there anything we can buy here? Not really. Okay. So let's see if there's anything else. Let's see if there's another um, another thing we can do here. Let's check out and see what they have. They have cerium purified 11 standard plates. Let's see if there's anybody that needs any of that stuff. Praseodymium, terbium. Because the other thing is, I don't think it... Does it tell you? It doesn't tell you on here how much it weighs. Let's see who has something that they really want to pay a lot of money for. Water in 50 liter bottles. And I don't think anybody has water for sale, do they? We can go over to this one and pick up the passenger too. The problem with the passengers is that when you pick up a passenger, then they want to go somewhere that you didn't really... You know, they want to go somewhere that's like a distraction or whatever. Samples of flora. So they've got the they've got the juice there. G-type batteries for drones and equipment. So, who is selling the batteries? Yeah, let's go to here, and then we're gonna go to there. To this place. Yeah, we're going to buy the batteries here and pick up a passenger maybe and then we'll land here, right? And we can buy the coxcomb and then sell it here, right? Because they want it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We can do that. It's in 500 gram cans. Yeah. So we'll do that. We'll see if we can... We'll see if we can... Uh, can get all that happening and is there if there's a passenger here let's see where he wants to go where is the passenger it is over there it's not going to tell us where he wants to go is it i don't think it is so i and honestly they're only going to give you a couple thousand it's not really worth all the trouble so we're just going to take off because they they, I only get like maybe seven or eight thousand if I like do a really straight shot and just fly them all the way straight there without stopping for anything. I maybe get, I will maybe get like um, five, six, seven thousand. I think I got eight thousand one time. Like, woo, you know. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just go to this place. Power station here. Button four. Where is button four? I don't know where button four is. I'll have to find where button four is. Is that this one? Nope. Yeah, I don't know. This thing has like a million buttons on it, so. Alright, we're gonna get close to the thing here. Get close to the submissions line so we don't want to go to there we go. There we go. Alright. Let's see what direction our wind is doing. Is it going to show anything? It's not going to tell me. Oh, okay. What good is it? And somehow we got off course. So it looks like maybe when I hit about 15 kilometers, it's time to start dropping down, maybe. 
So we're going to do this, first of all. Yeah, I see I'm already at almost 15. So we're going to start dropping down. Big party pilot talks. That's the other one I need to do on this. The other thing I need to change in the localization is the third party, you know, communications or whatever. Okay, that's this. And where is it? Still not seeing it. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? It's three and a half kilometers away. Is that it right there? Yeah, that's right in front of us. Yep. Because there's like two things. Wow, that is some wind. <laughs> but yeah, there's like... Let's not, let's not do 40. There we go. go. So will this thing let me strafe? Yeah, it will let me strafe. Cool. Okay. That's pretty cool. So there's a couple little buttons on the thing that'll let me strafe instead of doing that. Come on. Come on. So I want to do this. There we go. That was pretty sudden, the jump down to 36. There we go. See, I've been afraid to land it like more than, I'm trying to land it like one or zero, um, you know, meters per second, and it's like way too, uh, way too, um, space. It's, I'm being way too picky about it, you know, trying to land like way too delicate is what I was looking for trying to be way too delicate on the landings. So I think I can probably let it drop to like five or six or something like that. Cool. So we've got G-type batteries for drones and equipment. I'm wondering if, does this have a, does this have a garage here? Let's go like this. Does this have a, does this have a, no, it doesn't. Okay. I was looking for one with a garage. We're gonna the next time we run into one with a garage, we're gonna see what we can do as far as upgrades and stuff too, just for the fun of it. Um, how much money we have? Forty-eight thousand. Okay, so we're gonna take off to the trawler. It says it's sixty-one kilometers away. Does that guy want to? Did it say that guy wants to go to Big Crater Mine? Because I mean that's really quick. And they have, oh, you know what? They even have the equipment for sale right there. Hmm. What about this one? When we go to this one, they don't have that for sale. They don't have that for sale. Maybe we should go here first. Let's do that. Because I think this guy said he wanted to go to Big Crater Mine. So let's go like this. And see if we can pick up this passenger and take him to Big Crater Mine. Because it's, it's a really quick shot over there, too. Let's see if we can do this. Come on. <laughs> and what is it we press to open the door? Is it T? There. Um, Alt-1. Certainly. Yeah, he needs to go to Big Crater Mine. Cool. What is that? What is going on? What just happened there? This thing is... Okay. The hat is messed up. The hat is supposed to be my look. My look around. So something is... Yeah, it's telling me hat down. Okay. So... Nope. No, no, no. Okay. So we're going to close our door here, and there we go. Whoops. <laughs> that wasn't good. So where is Big Crater Mine? There it is. It's 2.3 kilometers this direction. I'm going to go like 
like this. Oh, it's right in the crater. So I don't want to go too high here. I think we're just going to stick in VTOL mode here for this. And yeah, we'll drop this guy off and then we'll see what kind of upgrades we can buy. Go. Sometimes I really miss my fiance. There Wish we I go. There's the landing. Let's see if we can drop at the right rate. Where is the landing zone is over here? It's not crashing to the ground here. There we go. I'm like trying to fly into the wind. It's a little tricky here. Come on, slow down. There you go. There we go. Bring this puppy in. And six, five, four, three, two. Oh, that is a beautiful landing, isn't it? That was beautiful. Okay, let's open the door. Base trawler 6-2. Is that the one I'm going to? Yes. Oh, you know what? Let's close the door. I got 422 credits. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pick up Jane Adams after I go to the... I need to go to the garage, and I think last time I tried to do that with a passenger, and it wouldn't let me do anything. So, you're not going to ride on the outside of the ship? Why not? Okay, let's go like this. Let's go like this. We're going to back up. Because I'm going to need to go back down to the um, to the other thing, to the other end of the runway. So, we'll, we'll do this. We'll do the thingy first. See if it'll let me switch engines and stuff. If, if they've got... Whatever upgrades they've got, I don't know, engines, landing gear, all that stuff. Um, what do we hit? Return? Let's see what we can do in the shop here. Because I don't remember how long ago I upgraded this. I don't remember how long ago I upgraded these engines and stuff, but I figure it's time for another upgrade. So we've got... Standard, standard, double cycle engines. Let's see, what do we do? T, use up arrow. There we go. Okay, so double cycle engines plus 50% con con uh, consumption and power. Yeah, we can do that. And then... Gravity grippers, capacity. Oh, we don't have enough money, do we? That's kind of cool. It adds to your capacity. That's nice. Is there any more? Okay, we want to get those then. Next next chance we get, I want to get those. Of course, that's going to... Well, yeah, it'll cost money, but it'll help us carry probably carry stuff that's that's heavier and, and uh, gets us more money and stuff. So, R to repair. There we go. We're going to repair the ship, too. It's installing the engines. Cool. So, if, yeah, if our, if our consumption and power are both plus 50%, that means that basically we, just, we can just do the same thing on a lower throttle. But we can also do higher throttle if we need to. It's just we're going to use a lot more fuel. So I probably need to see if I can get, is there a battery? There's not like a battery uh, upgrade, is there? Let's see what they have for these. Full compression, power, and an overload. With bro magnetic system. <laughs> All right, reinforced chassis. Means. Yeah, there's nothing that allows you to, to increase your battery, is there? Okay. So, 
stick thumb button two. Where is thumb button two? Because I'm seeing, let me look. That is button nine and 10. Yeah, I'm not seeing four. Oh, four is over here. Okay, I got it. So that's button two, all right. Button two is the thumb in the middle of the back of the joystick. I was thinking it meant on the throttle. I'm looking on the throttle for like button number four. <laughs> all right. And yeah, I'll have to change the thing so that my hat actually works as the, uh, the other thing. And so let's see, we're gonna pick up where does Jane Adams want to go? She wants to go to the trawler that we're going to anyway. So we're going to go pick her up. And then we're going to go pick up the... Um, we're going to go refuel. So let's get Jane here. Jump on in. There we go. She's boarding. Is she on? There we go. So we're going to do this first. I'm going to go get fuel. Need to get fuel before we go to this place. Because it's like 60, yeah, 64 kilometers away. And let's see if we can do this without. Oh, let me put that up. Maybe that's why it's bouncing. Something's bouncing. Come on. There we go. Something was colliding there. Okay. Yeah, this is a little slow. I think they need to increase the taxi speed. Although, I don't think they intend you to taxi everywhere. They probably intend you to, like, to VTOL and spin yourself around and stuff. And it's like... <laughs> I'm not quite uh, confident enough to do that. Although, it would probably be good practice for the landing and everything. It's just, I try to do something like that, and that's when I'd, like, derp out and totally... You know, that's when I end up doing like the really bad, <laughs> do uh, something really bad and crash and all that, you know? So let's see if we can get this, <laughs> get this parked and then we'll be able to take off for the trawler. So, and I think I should be able to make it to the trawler pretty quickly. Once you, once we get up in the air, the, the, the K's just fly by. There we go. A little more. Really? There we go. Go like this, and we're going to refuel. And is there any repair? No? Okay, we have a big construction. Your help will be welcome. Bring products needed by mine, big crater. Huh, okay. Well, anyway, we're going to take off for the trawler. Get out of here and head to the trawler. There we go. Going forward a little bit here too. Now we have these super powerful engines, don't we? So we should be able to just zoom now. And wow, yeah, it really does. It really is. Uh, it really is using up fuel, isn't it? Look at how quickly the fuel's going down. So let's do this. Sure why it's spinning me again. Yeah, we'll get up here in the upper atmosphere. Go. It's jerking a little. There. Now we are way up there. Should be able to get some serious speed going. There we go, 50k. Just gotta watch my altitude, I don't wanna go up too high. Okay, we can bring down our... We should be able to, to cruise. Settle down there. There we go, I'm watching my altitude here. <laughs> There's just so many numbers and everything to watch. So many things to watch. Yeah, this is going to be fun landing because I'm probably going to be really low on the fuel by the time I get to land. So it's going to be interesting. 
30k. Am I even going to have enough fuel to land? I'm not sure if I'm going to. I might need to, uh... Yeah, I might need to, um... 22k. Yeah, actually, I'm not using that much fuel anymore. So let's see if we can do this. There we go. We're barely using any fuel now. And we're only 17 kilometers away. Yeah, it's time to start coming down. I think I think we'll be okay. Let's see. 2,000, 17, 16, 15, 14... go. Yeah, because the other thing is the um, the more uh, the more your fuel runs low, the, the less weight you're actually... Whoa! There's... There it is. Okay. Yeah, the thing is, is the lower your fuel gets, the less it actually takes to, to go anywhere. To like to climb and everything. Come on. Let's see. Go like this. Let's go like this. Now we're coming upwind. That should help. Whoa. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I don't need to fall that quickly. Let's go like this. Let's get some forward movement here. There we go. Let's bring it down here. Come on. Oh, look at that landing. Look at that landing. Oh, how pretty is that? How pretty was that? Oh, that was awesome. Okay, so let's open the door. I think she can get out, right? Yes. Cool, because I think the faster you uh, you get them there, the more money you get. And so, yeah, see, we got 8,000 for that. That was pretty good. Not too bad. And let's go like this. And we can sell these G-type batteries, right, for for 16,000. I thought they wanted it. I thought they were buying them for a lot more than that. Huh. Okay, and then we're going to buy that and we're going to repair the ship or refuel that is yeah that was that was actually <laughs> that was a pretty good uh it felt really hairy <laughs> i gotta say that felt really sketchy as a landing but it was actually it was pretty good so i think we're gonna make we got 80k to that one let me see i'm not sure if i can make 80 kilometers on a on a full tank of fuel. So I think what we might do, that is a really long way, isn't it? I think what we might do is we're going to go like this and then that. And so we'll just, we'll land there and call a drone to refuel us. So they want, we have the, yeah, see, they want to buy it. It says 43,000. So I'm not sure if they're going to change their mind when we get there and they only want 15,000 they only only want to pay like 15,000 but yeah we're gonna try to get there so yeah yeah we'll do that and I think that's gonna be it for this episode so I'm gonna I'm not gonna run these like for an hour and stuff so yeah this this is gonna be it for episode 5 join me in episode 6 where we're gonna fly over to this one and see how much we can get to that and we'll see yeah we'll see how much uh, money we can build up and you know, get the next ship and we will see you then. Later.